guys aren't familiar with Chris Chicago, Chris Chicago uh, just uh, passed away. Um, he had cancer. Yeah. And we just found out from his wife, he, she posted that um, that he passed away this past week. And it was devastating, man. <sighs> it was really hard. It was devastating. Um, Chris Chicago is one of the reasons why we're here today. Yeah. Um, he is he is a uh, career radio personality. He started so many different radio uh, platforms, Jam the Hype, So Flow. Um, he worked with several different radio. Uh, Rapzilla, what, uh, of course, Rapzilla and Jen. Yeah. yeah, he's a legend, legend. Mm -hmm. um, and when I say that we want to be here without Chris Chicago, one of the first was it the first year we went to Flavor Fest? It was the second year we went to Flavor S Fest. Second year, yeah. Uh, we were on Jam the Hype. They were recording live. They brought us over. Uh, him and um and uh, Derek like, Holm. De Derek Holm uh, brought us over, and they they at the time. Uh, Jam the Hype, I think, had just purchased the South. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we were on our line for line episode that Jeremiah um, created was on the South. Mm -hmm. And of course, when they got the South, they inherited line for line and they loved it. They loved yeah. it. And um, so they brought us on live and Chris Chicago gave us like advice after advice after advice. Oh, yeah. And yeah. if you if you know anything about Chris Chicago, like he doesn't he's not content with his success being his success, he loves to share it. He mm -hmm. loves to give advice. If he sees that there's something that you're not doing quite right, he'll tell you. Yeah. And and if you're not prepared for it, you'd be like, oh, who is this guy telling me? No, but he's like, no, no, no. I'm trying yeah. to help you. I know how this works. Oh, yeah. So I'm trying to help you. And one of the first uh, advice he gave us, at the time we were kind of like trying to be all things to all people, right? We were trying to be too general as mm -hmm. far as the music we played and, and the, you know, the topics and all that trying to just kind of appeal to too many different people, which means we weren't appealing to anybody. And he was like, you got to focus on hip hop, man. You yeah. guys have to focus on Christian hip hop. We were playing rock and yeah. everything. Yeah. And um, that advice just catapulted us. Mm -hmm. we started, I remember yeah. that first conference call. That conference call was crazy. It was nerve wracking because when they, when they um, bought the South, I was. I remember having the conversation with you. Like, should I reach out and ask about line for line? Yeah, because we uh, didn't know. Maybe they wouldn't like it. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. So when we got when we um, sent the email, they sent us the email back, and they said, "Hey, let's jump on a call." Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Oh, they want to have a call with us." And I just remember how that call went. They were so encouraging to us. And when we um, purchased our table at mm -hmm. Flavor Fest and we got down there, they were like, "All oh, track stars are in the building." And they were just like, hey, we're getting ready to go live on Jam the Hype. Y'all come on over, guest host with us. Yeah. Man, the lights, the cameras, everything was yeah. just like overwhelming for us. Yeah. But it was amazing because they settled us down. We had a great conversation. Um, I wish we could find some of that video footage. I know Mike Laxton, shout out to Mike Laxton. Yeah. He, he said he still had some of that stuff. Yeah. And so does I think Derek. They took us out to eat too. And, yeah, and they took us like, out to eat. It was amazing. Awesome. And, and um, I remember having an, a, another big conference call with. Um, Derek Holm and Chris Chicago where they told us about the state of Christian hip hop mm -hmm. and they told us what to look out for yeah. and they gave us a lot of good advice man he yeah. was so solid in, in his heart and his passion it was it was amazing and when, when Chris Chicago got to you know Rapzilla he tried to you know say, hey we can you we need you over here yeah, yeah, when yeah. he got to Engine he was like give me a show I'm gonna get yeah, it like yeah, yeah. he always shared whatever whatever success he had he always shared it and he always gave us such great advice and I, I I'm so sad because um just recently, uh, he 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 sent out a tweet where you could tell he was sad, you yeah. know, and he was um, down. And I just shot back and was like, "Man, we're still praying for you, bro. We still love you. You know, don't don't yeah. don't despair." And he shot back and he and he was like, "Man, I know you guys do love you guys um, so much. He's very yeah. proud of us." And he said, "Thank you for reaching out. It really means a lot." Yeah, I didn't know that was the last thing I was going to hear from him. Wow, man. And yeah. I, I just wish I would have done more you know i didn't I, I hated the fact that he the community that he loved so much yeah he didn't feel like it was it was yeah loving him back at that when yeah. he needed the most you know and, wow. and it's hard to feel that way it's hard to it's hard not to feel that way yeah i remember when you know my father passed away and all the calls were coming in you know text messages calls social media messages but then after that stops you feel like do people forget that i'm still grieving and hurting over yeah, here yeah yeah and so for him to have been battling cancer for so long i remember seeing him at the holy uh at the um smoke fest 
mm-hmm. um, last year. And I went up to him and we had a good conversation. And he told me how, you know, he had changed his diet and yeah. he was, you know, beating the odds. And I was so happy for him and proud of him. And, you know, we, we agreed to stay in touch. And like you said, that feeling of that's the last conversation because we, we didn't have another chance to talk, you know. Um, and I'm glad we got a chance to do an interview with him uh, back in 2022. Um, it was the last interview we did with him. And I just went back and watched it this week. And he was so full of joy and so full of life. Oh, and man. He had yeah. just launched uh, Soul Flow Radio and, you know, was inviting us to the platform. Um, it, was, it, was, it was just good to see, you know, his heart for Christ, man. It's just, it was just unmatched. <sighs> man, uh, we, we definitely missed Chris Chicago, man. It's definitely... Yeah. I, I hate the fact that people that should be famous aren't and people who shouldn't be famous are. Yeah. Chris Chicago should be famous across yeah, the world, man. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's amazing. So as much as we can make sure that happens, uh, people need to know the contributions that Chris Chicago made to to track stars, to Rapzilla, yeah. to Jam yeah. the Hype, to to yeah. Reach, to I mean, he's interviewed Ruslan and yeah. like everybody, everybody. Yeah. He's he's the impact he's made on Wado and uh, he touched everything. Everything you see, everything you love about the space that we're in, he mm-hmm. had his hand in. Yeah, and you know what I love? This, you know, I've always been anti anti internet for the, for the longest because I just feel like I would have enjoyed growing up. You know, I, mean, I did enjoy growing up without it, but I'm glad that we do have the internet because he left behind four children, mm-hmm. and um, his son is his oldest son is a teenager, but he has younger children. And I'm so glad that his body of work exists for the younger kids to see who their father was, all the interviews that are up on social media, all the interviews that he's done, um, the artists he's talked to and the things that he said have been so encouraging. Yeah. I'm so glad they have that catalog to go back and you know, really you know, revisit with their father. So uh, Jerry has a link up on the screen. Um, if you want to support his family, uh, please follow that link. And donate. That'll be a uh, great help. Um, if you if you realize now that yeah. you've been touched by Chris Chicago's life, which you definitely have. If you're watching us, you already you yeah. already have been. So yeah. uh, please, w- whatever you can helps. And I know uh, when family sees that how much of an impact their father, their husband had on so many people. It oh, means man. a lot. It, it means, means a lot. lot. Really yeah, does. and even if you ain't in the position to leave a financial donation, just go and um, send a message out. Yeah. yeah. Um, there yeah. is a message link, too, that you can send a message out to the family, which is great. Absolutely. Yeah, and I want to remind everybody that um, he did have a, um, a final resting ceremony uh, in Texas this week. But there's one to be determined uh, and a date to be determined for um, Nashville. So if you're in any, if you're in the Nashville area, if you are in the area where you're an adjacent state to to Tennessee, then you know it'd be great to show show up and show support for his family. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. 